So we're here with uh, Danny who brought his 1967 square back. He's had this car for about a year and has really uh, done a great job with this car. Good morning, Danny. Hey, good morning. So cool car, man. Um, can you tell us about your car? Uh, it's a 1967 uh, Type 3 square back. Um, I've had it just a little over a year. I did. I bought the car from a friend of mine. Uh, it was already painted. And he, it, there's about five owners of this car before it was even finished. It was uh, originally pulled out of a yard, like a, a field in Utah. And, and it went from one person and, you know, it could, he wasn't able to finish it. And he moved on to another person. He wasn't able, he did this little touch. And then uh, finally it, you know, eventually made it to me and painted it. Um, so we'll call you the closer. Yeah, I'm, you I'm got the, it done. I'm the finisher. The finisher. It's like the stages of a, of a restoration shop, you know. So, <laughs> so I've never seen this front, uh, you know, uh, hood ornament. Tell yeah, us about that. It's uh, it's actually a French repop, from what I've researched, um, of a Australian oval window accessory. So that was like it usually sits a little higher up here on like on a bug, but it's mainly for a Type One. But one of the previous owners that did the body work, he did the filling of the cowl and then the did the, uh, took the padded dash off. He also had the hood done. Usually there's a raise right here for this factory emblem, but yep. flatten that out. Yep. And they put, they just basically ran the ridge across to fit that emblem just right. Yeah, it looks good. Very unique piece. Yeah, so it's kind of like the- The chrome the looks really the good. Did you uh, buy new chrome, get it re -chromed? Uh, The bumpers were in the process of being re when I bought the car. So, I got a lot of good stuff with the car when I bought it. Um, what about the wheels? Uh, did the wheels come with the car? Yeah, the wheels came with the car. Um, they're just empty repops of the Porsche alloy. They look perfect. They look nice. Yeah, it's got the four wheel disc brakes. Uh, the front beam is actually a narrowed Type 1 uh, lift pin beam. And I did the uh, just standard disc brake kit for it. I didn't have to do drop signals because it's just low enough. Um, the rear, I did a. Uh, this brake conversion on the rear. Uh, I did the interior myself, minus the headliner. The Let's dash, take a look at the interior. Yeah, the dash was originally, you know, there was usually a padded dash on there, but um, one of the, the uh, owner that did all the custom body work, he uh, had the dash filled in. So the vents aren't in it. The uh, Everything just got smoothed out and it looks really good. And, they, and then the previous owner that I bought it off of, my friend, he actually had the body shop do the impersonation, like to make the visors over it to make it look like the original style. And this uh, color is kind of like a, a faded burnt red, right? It's a uh, brick red. Brick red, it looks yeah. cool. Doesn't, you know, jump out at you. It just has a really nice look. Yeah, that's the, the whole reason I went with that color was because uh, the car kind of is like, it doesn't pop too crazy. I wanted the chrome to pop. Yeah. And so I went with the brick red with the mesh red center just to be a little different. And and the top of the car is a different color, right? Yeah, you it's got a green. The, the, both the colors are off of uh, based off of like a 40 Chevy. Um, and the car, like I said, came painted, but there was a couple issues with the roof. So my dad paints cars on the side. So we resprayed the roof. And when we resprayed the roof, we put green pearl in it. Looks nice. The same with the dash, and we did the same with the cylinder tip. Yeah, it gives it a, another dimension. It really, is, uh, it looks nice. Yeah, because the top is considered a green, but with the bottom color, you can't really tell. But with the green pearl in it, it kind of makes it pop out. Cool. Can we take a look at your motor? Yeah. This is literally the finish. This is like down to the wire. I ran the motor for the first time last um, Wednesday and then broke in the cam on the ground and then had a couple little knickknacks I had to fix and then literally threw the motor in Thursday, ran into a couple issues and then uh, finalized it on Friday then left to the Prado show last week. Motor only has about probably 320 miles. Cool. Yes. Very cool. Just a little 1776 with a angle 110 cam, dual uh, 40 DCF Webers. Got so, so the difference in ride, I thought, you know, I had a 68 uh, bug and then I had a square back. 
and I felt like the square back handled a little better. It just uh, had a better, like, lower center of gravity. And well, it's, it's a heavier car, and the way the front suspension is set up, I mean, it's, this one doesn't have a Type 3 beam to the front, um, but it is, and it is lowered, so it doesn't ride as well as, like, a stock high car. But, I mean, these cars are, you know, they're not really, they weren't the budget car like the Bug was. Yeah, right. They're more of the, uh, you know, I guess you could say the higher end. Yeah. Line. And I mean, the, the top of the line one for Volkswagen was the Type 34. That was considered their, you know, luxury, you know, performance car. That was literally twice the price in some places as the Bug. Wow. And uh, suspension, uh, tell us about the suspension work. Uh, like I said earlier, it's, uh, it's got a, I believe it's a three inch, I'm not 100 sure, but it's a three inch narrow and beam up front. Uh, adapted to fit on that Type 3 can head. Uh, the rear is uh, just basically stock, just you know, down a click. Um, I haven't been able to finish it completely. I still have the original rear shocks that had the VW stamp on them, so that's just one of the little things I gotta pick to finish the car. It's not 100% done just yet. Cool. Well, Danny, you know, I really appreciate you sharing your car with us, man. Uh, no problem. Good luck today on the judging and, and have, a, have a fun day. Oh, thank you very much.